Hello, Commanders. Uh, today I wanted to discuss the age-old question that I see on Facebook all the time. What's the best setup for this carrier, or that carrier, or any carrier? Well, one of the things people need to realize is there is no absolute best. There is no, dial this in and this carrier beats every carrier, blah, blah. One thing you have to realize is what you're going up against versus what you're using. Um, and this is one of the nice things when you're getting into like the Bermuda Brett battles and the towers, player versus player, you start figuring out what they have and then you start figuring out what you need to counter what they have. So let's go back over into the game. Oh yay, it didn't die. So when we start getting into our skills and what the carriers do, and we get into the buffs. Let's look at the buffs. You have a lot of these different buffs, and then you have your aircraft. They also have buffs. So let's take a look at something, and the thing you need to realize is there are counters for all of the buffs that you have. So, when we're talking about counters, let's look at the different buffs. You need to realize which ones are going to be counters for which other um, of the carrier buffs and all of the different things. So, um, there are some like, um, let's say for instance, um, dodge. Um, if you have a carrier that you're fighting that has a high dodge, then you're going to want something with higher accuracy. So you can look into what what you have, what's available, um, not just on the on the planes, but also on your equipment. Now let's go look into the equipment and okay, overall accuracy. Well, this accuracy is going to counter some of the dodge. Um, so going through and start reading your descriptions on what you're, you're dealing with, what the accuracy is, and then figuring out from there what that accuracy um, is going to counter and getting through some of that is going to help you because when you go into, um, let's say, a battle report, when we go into a battle report, um, you're going to look at the the side by side comparisons. So, you know, my overall attack was lower on this. Um, so, overall accuracy, my accuracy was higher. Yes, um, but where? Let's see. Where's their dodge? There's, well, let's do an easier one, <clears throat> boost morale. The counter to boost morale is electronic countermeasures, okay? So my boost morale is 39%. And then when we start looking at the electronic countermeasures, I'm also higher on the ECM, therefore... I'm going to have a little bit better time because they're not countering what I'm doing. So you want to have either or um, if your opponent's using a high ECM, then you want to have more boost morale. So, and likewise with the different things, so you need to really um, study what the different, uh, the different skills give you. Let's go back into the equipment. But when you're looking at your skills, electronic countermeasure reduces buff release, which that's countered with your boost morale. Okay, so it's it's just a matter of finding out what your opponent's using and countering what they're using to make your stuff hit harder than theirs. And you know, there's there's a lot of really good. Um, thinking that has to go into this 
Um, this isn't just a shoot 'em up game. This is definitely a, a skill game where you're continually trying to figure out what is what. And interesting thing that the devs have done is they're constantly changing, adding new things to make it more difficult for those who have figured a lot of these things out. Um, I was talking to my friend on 308, Ranger Chris, and he was, you know, describing a lot of the different things that he's been trying, and he, you know, brought this point up to me that you have to understand what's the counters um, to what your opponent is using so that you can boost those counters and figure out what equipment you need to use to, um, to, to basically nullify the effect of what they're trying to do to you so that you can then win the battle. So I know it's still a bit confusing, um, but you know the big thing is understanding, being able to read the reports, look at the buffs, look at what, you know, reading through and figuring out um, what the different things are, what's figuring out what the counter is to that buff. When you understand what the counters are, then you can start looking a little deeper into what they're doing to know where you need to increase something to counter what they're doing so that you can win. Um, so, you know, just understand there's a lot of thought process that goes into this game. And if you want to be better, you have to understand what's happening within the game and within the carriers and all the different intricacies of the equipment, the planes, the subs, the chips now. Um, just everything plays together so that you can basically beat down on your opponent. So I hope everybody gets a little something out of this. Um, if you like the content, uh, if you like what I'm bringing, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And hope everybody has a great day and um, play on.